Now is the time to get ready. Charge your phone, walk your property, make sure everything is secure. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake found out how everyone is preparing today. So today we've been focusing on three main topics. We're talking schools, we're talking roads, and we're talking preparedness ahead of this storm. Some schools have already chose the remote option like Guilford County. Others are choosing to be closed the entire day. We thought just uh, as a precaution and for our student safety to just go ahead and close school for Friday for students and staff. That's a decision from Burlington Alamance School District with wind gusts expected to be up to 50 miles per hour. It can be dangerous to be out on the roads. NCDOT has been making preparations all week long in order to keep drivers safe. Today I followed a crew along Business 85 as they cleared storm drains. If you don't clean the drains and the water has nowhere to go, it's going to it's going to rise up and it has nowhere to go out in, except in the highway. If it goes in the highway, you most likely will have accidents due to hydroplaning. The American Red Cross is also keeping an eye on the forecast and went ahead and pre-positioned supplies all across the state in order to prevent drivers and volunteers from traveling in the midst of this storm. We can't wait until uh, the disaster is in front of us. Uh, the, the advantage that we have with a hurricane is we do have advance notice or a tropical storm as we now are looking at is that uh, we have advance notice as we've had days notice of this storm coming. And so we've been ramping up for over a week. So we have about an hour or so left of daylight. So now is the time to get all of your ducks in a row. If you have lawn furniture outside, make sure that they're tied down. Anything outside that can be brought in, do it now. Be at the ready for severe weather.